Look around you, look at your friends, your colleagues. What a season we've had. I think you can see all the trophies here. Except for ours. It's DA ticket. Okay. This year we've seen some new under-12s move up, playing in the under-14s. They've all held their own. They've all contributed to the teams where they played in, which is fantastic. And it bodes well for the rest of you. During the season we had a number of players that have joined. Some have gone to the National 8th Grade Academy, some are not yeah. here tonight. We've got four girls from under nine. Throughout the year we've had a number of tournaments, a number of sessions, New Year's Day. There was a lot of representation for the Lions and the Dragons from all the age groups, which was fantastic. Some of you here were the awarded best and fairest for the uh, New Year's Day. IYT, same again, representative rugby, which, which is fantastic. So I thank you, children, I thank the parents, I thank the players, taxi drivers, everyone else is there. Guys, it's about you. So from the beginning of the season, all of you, which I remember a few words from Fergus. Hi <laughs> guys, um, just the commitment you guys have for, for that. Um, just before I move on to next year, I'd just like to say a big thanks to the, the, the sort of volunteer coaches, the parent coaches who come down and help out, but also for uh, some of the Kowloon coaches as well, who have taken their time out on uh, Thursday, Friday and Sunday uh, to go down to the matches, the tournaments with the girls, uh, etc. Uh, we've already got two tonight, so Terry, thank you very much. And, uh, Interesting. Okay, there's going to be a few changes. The main one is that we're going to be starting an under-19 boys team. Okay, so for those under-16 boys, oh. okay, uh, this is going to be part of our Kowloon relationship. Okay, so we're going to be um, we're going to be training for the Kowloon Lions under-19 boys. Okay, that's going to be coached by some of the senior coaches for Kowloon. So Mark McMillan who some of you may know, who's an ex-Leeds uh, Bath Wasps player, and uh, whoever the new coach is for Kowloon, who we're not sure yet. Uh, another major one is the young 19 girls. Okay, there's going to be a new setup next year. I don't know the details too much, okay, uh, but I know it's going to be a good one. Okay, there's going to be more, uh, more, more coaching from the RFU, more coaching from us, uh, more game time, and actually more competition between the island and Kowloon Peninsula, I think it's north, south, east, west. Okay, so there's lots of good stuff coming on. Uh, another thing is girls as well, for certain number 19. Okay, uh, I also coach the Kowloon women's team. Okay, and we want some of you girls to see if we can get more, more coming through. Okay, because uh, we've got Chrissy, I don't know if you know Chrissy, but the younger girls do. Okay, a few internationals playing. Uh, I'd love to see some of you girls coming through uh, and training. Okay, so we train Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think with the new rules, uh, you may not be able to play for us until Christmas, but after that we'll be fine, but we'll see. Okay, but guys, for me, a big thank you. Well done this season. Okay, coaches, parents, everything, a big thank you as well. Okay, cheers. Okay, it's time to eat. Wait, wait. Let's start with the under 13s. Under 13. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
It's funny how you guys have to play rugby tomorrow, and I'll be in bed. You, 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 oh, I wish you came. Yeah, Ryu, just take it all, why don't you? Ryu, that shit. Ryu, I think you missed that. Oh, chicken wings! Dude, you guys gonna eat all the chicken wings, aren't you? Yeah? Yo, say some, say some, say some! <laughs> give me, give me two more, give me two more, give me two more. Oh my god, man! Oh, 
And they still couldn't get him down, okay? Uh, so my best and fairest is Yasser. hard to get back into the first team and one of his main problems is probably tackling as with most people it is okay um, and actually sorry against football club he did the fake tackle pretending to tackle okay uh, <laughs> gonna be harsh okay but then since then since then he's done his best to try and get to every single tackle he's put his body on the line okay and actually in the last tournament we had, I named him captain, okay, because I really thought he's improved so, so much, okay, he got absolutely smashed by uh, another player, but he got back up and said, oh, it wasn't that bad, and the next tackle he made was absolutely fantastic. So my most improved player, Teo, are you can. This is for someone who, not necessarily the best, although he had... No, players, 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 players. Oh, I don't know what the players play with. Yeah, I did, I did. Oh, uh, I did. Uh, <laughs> keep going, keep going. For what players play? No. Psycho Spirit. Psycho Spirit. Yeah, Psycho Spirit. Now this is uh, for someone who's not necessarily the best player, although actually he was uh, pretty close to becoming best and fairest. Uh, for me, uh, this this guy who's uh, he's a phenomenal tackler. Okay, he's not the biggest in the team. Okay, uh, he's turned up for pretty much every single session. Okay, he's even represented the under 14s. Okay, and actually, before I say his name, can I just say under 14s? Thank you so much for uh, accommodating those guys coming up for the uh, to, to to help out. It's a difficult age group. Okay, a lot of changes that happens at that time. Okay, um, but for me, this guy, okay, phenomenal tackler. He's been stuck on the wing and fullback, uh, but he's been stuck. He's got stuck in. He's got stuck in, and like I said, he's very close to best of fairest. But my stick race for Felix. Apparently his girlfriend is way nicer than him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't get better without playing against the best. Okay, we've got a pretty strong age group from the other clubs. 
Okay, so uh, for us to come up, okay, we've had a pretty tough season. Okay, we, we won, uh, well, we won one game in the league. Okay, but they came together at the end, and actually we beat Football Club in the final plate, and actually we won the play. And I thought it was one of the best games we've played so far. So well done, guys. Well done for your resolve. Keep going. Keep going. Please keep going. Next season, okay, you're going to be under 14s. So you're going to be the best friends. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. So um, the next one is the players' player. This is voted for by your teammates. Okay, uh, I just found out who it was. So, uh, but I think suitably, Felix, up you come again. Play, play. And it's boom team. These guys all stood by each other, they had some tough games, they had some good games, but regardless of the outcome, these guys played as a team and they respected each other and they respected the other side, the opposition. So, big round of applause for Division 2. Now, these awards were, were selected, the, uh, with the exception of the Players Award, were selected by Coach Collin. Colin couldn't be with us today because he's made the fatal, foolish mistake of getting married. But anyway, it's a, he'll, he'll wake up to himself. So, uh, the best and fairest award is the first award. And I'm reading verbatim here from what Colin has given me. On taking the responsibility as captain of the team, this player became a whole different player. Mentally and physically, both on and off the pitch, and not to mention his newly developed sidestep, which he practiced after school with his mates, and certainly showed on the pitch, his dad was truly amazed. Throughout the season, this player showed true determination, courage, a will to win, no matter what the opposition, and to lead the troops into the battle from the front, no matter what the challenge. Jack Hart. and his skills from playing wing and fullback has grown from strength to strength throughout the season. Nino's not here, but we have one of Nino's mates come up and collect the prize. Who wants to Spirit Award, this player is a powerhouse of spirit. A prop who is determined to never stop, powering onto the opposition, looking for that clean break, and who will step and keep and lift the spirits high for a full 45 minutes of pure rugby enjoyment. Where's the big man himself? Owen! Captain for the tour is Ted, our vice captain is
Jackson. Well done, boys. Oh! Oh! Rookie of the Year! Alright, Rookie of the Year. Okay, now, uh, under 13, we're a very tight knit group. Okay, actually, we don't really have anybody that just joined. Okay, we've been together for a very long time. Uh, but we thought the Rookie of the Year would be very appropriate. This kid has gone from being a tiny little matchstick to uh, a tiger killer, as, uh, as Colin called him, okay, where he absolutely annihilated the DEA Tiger Boy. Okay, so without further ado, Rookie of the Year, Aiden Lamb. Yay!
Sting Ray players move up, they've been playing Mitch Rugby and what a season. So, for our best and fairest, this lady come across, it's her first season, she moved into the team and gelled with everyone quite easily. I don't show, I'm not quite sure where she gets her skills from, maybe a bad but we're not sure. And our best and fairest is Amy Baber. Good role model for the younger girls with a refreshing positive attitude to the game. 
as a newcomer she said all right in. All in all, I would recommend her as an excellent candidate for the overall stingray for all. So now it's a baby paper. So later, you will all come up and we'll see who's on it. Ferris, for us, uh, it's Evie Cranwell. Okay, so next is most improved. This is a boy who started off propping, ended up in the wing. Who knows where I'll end up next to you? So I've got it. Okay, next is Stingray Spirit. Um, so for Stingray Spirit, this boy played for one minute in the sevens this year. Before displacing his nose in a pointless tackle. Alex, please. Mike, Sage, 
rematch. Would you like a rematch? Oh, no. 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 Um, 
many of them have come through the ranks from the under 11s when they played with the boys, and it's really been a truly a great year. It's a delight to see how these girls have progressed. At the season's start, we had Anisha, Sarah, Mayo, and Izzy already in the uh, uh, Hong Kong RFU Youth Academy training. By the end of the year, all of the girls had trialled for the national age grade. All our New Year's Day nominees got through and played. At seven, the team was also well represented. I doubt there is any other age group or club who can claim that. Give yourselves a round of applause. So girls, welcome for your commitment. We spent a lot of time in Tin Shu Wai, our home ground. <laughs> Fabulous parents for driving and making the journey so exciting because we never went the same way twice. And gourmet picnics. So, Anisha, may or Hebe, hope you continue into the under 19s. We're going to lose Izzy, we're going to lose Sarah. And bringing on the under 14 girls, let's see whether we can have a super squad again this year. Okay? And Henjo is really sorry he can't be here tonight. So let's just hear from Henjo. And we might need some of those tissues that we, um, we had out. And lastly, but most importantly, to my girls, I'm sorry I'm not there tonight to celebrate with you this momentous season. I want to thank each and every one of you for the privilege of being in practice season. Before the season, I had my own doubts about continuing playing rugby myself. As I have forgotten what it means to play rugby, I lost my passion for the game. But thanks to you, I've regained the passion and that fight once more. Remember, wherever you go, the principle that this great game has taught you commitment, determination, self discipline, attitude, and most importantly, Respect for each and every one. You are a special, special group of girls to so stay in contact with each and every other wherever you go, as that's what rugby is all about building, lasting, and ever doing relationships and friendships. about comparing this girl to some underestimated greats. But he compared her to the Beatles, rejected by Decca's recording studios, who said they had no future in show business. Walt Disney, fired for a newspaper for lacking imagination and having no original ideas. Ofa Ripley was demoted from her job as news anchor because she wasn't fit for television. The point here is, that it's usually the greatest of all time that get underestimated and not given a chance. None of us can understand why this young lady wasn't selected for the 8th grade training last year. This girl has a bright future ahead. She's likely to make a success of everything she does if she sets her mind to it. And as her grandfather apparently said, she's likely to end up in jail. <laughs> She was voted best and fairest at the New Year's Day. So tonight, Hebe Tolas, please, you have been voted on the 16 girls best and fairest.
she is our very own honey badger. She leaves everything on the pitch and she never, ever, ever backs down. She proved herself on the wing without a doubt. Sadly, she did not make the final cut in the NAG Sevens, but she's got all of the potential to do so next season. Laura Johnson, Aka Jono, because Henjo can't get the difference between Laura and Laura, <laughs> our most improved under 16 girls this season.
You have pre represented Stingrays more on and off the paddock than any other player I know. She was included into the high performance centre of Hong Kong. <laughs> Right, let me just check out my iPhone. <laughs> it won't be as long as last year, I can promise you. Okay, uh, let's uh, keep it quiet, it'll be quicker. I promise, yeah? Okay, this group of lads, uh, the guys coming up to join under 16s this season, have been real pioneers for Stingrays, yeah? Um, quite a few of them have been with the club since the very, very beginning. And they've grown in strength to strength, and they came off the back of two unbeaten seasons to move up to under 16s. Uh, there, they joined some guys left over from last year who were Division Two champions. And I think, uh, you know, it, it was a great, great opportunity. Um, based on that, we decided to go to Division One, and I think we were absolutely right to be so. But unfortunately, I have to admit that some of the opposition was a bit stronger than we'd anticipated. Um, however, however, it wasn't helped by the fact that we had a very young squad. We never had a full squad. Uh, and to be honest, we, we were lacking a bit of depth in some of the key positions. But despite all that, uh, for most of the games, we went head to head against Hong Kong's finest, against bigger, older guys, and uh, I think we put ourselves extremely well. Um, and we should be extremely proud of ourselves. Not only that, uh, we, kept, we kept going always till the end. And I think, unlike some other clubs, we did actually put ourselves in the first division. And um, hey, guys, next season is going to stand us in good stead, really. All right. Okay. Uh, and and, and let, let's be honest. Unless you're uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, you do actually take, have to take a beating every now and again. And maybe he will. Let's see. Yeah? Very topical. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're going to be quite quick. A few moments of the season. I think, uh, for me, one of the moments of the season, we played Tigers. They essentially had the Hong Kong back line uh, under 16s. And. It's coming, Simon. It's coming. Um, and we held out for, I think, 50 minutes, 19 12, against probably the best back line in Hong Kong. Um, fantastic. That was a cracking game, guys. Uh, another, another great moment, Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. The finisher, as we call you now, yeah. in the semi tournament. He had a bit of work to do. He got the ball. There was some serious shouting from the touchline, mainly by me and his dad. And he had nowhere to go, so he piled over in the corner. Fantastic, Lewis. Well done. TSW, we should have won it. Unfortunately, they broke uh, one of their guys broke an arm, and uh, that kind of inspired them to, uh, to, to fight back. But um, it was it was a cracking game, and uh, real, showed some real real improvement from the first game of the season. Uh, a bit of a, a couple of mentions of bravery here. Uh, Ryan, yeah, he played. I think two games with a broken hand, although I don't think he actually knew it, but <laughs> what the hell, when I'm right, when I'm right. Uh, Zach, I think he played with a stuffed up back for at least 20 minutes of one game, and probably the whole of another, so well done. Ollie, played with a broken nose. And Simon, who played on, having taken probably the biggest possible pass in the Stingrays history. Um, thanks, Harry. <laughs> okay, we've, uh, also, 
just like to thank uh, Pauline and Terry. Uh, Um, thanks, thanks for your help during the season. Um, we've had we've had some difficult venue changes, etc. But uh, the, the quality of the play and the team improved enormously over the course of the season. So thanks to both of you guys. Fantastic. Uh, just before we'll, we'll come on to the awards very very shortly, but one farewell that I know of, uh, Lucas. Uh, you've been a fantastic player for the club, and um, we'll be very sad that you're moving on. Uh, there's a bit more about Lucas later, so we'll hear that. And to our under 16 16s, so the guys born in 99, so Zach, Alec, uh, Stitty, uh, wish you uh, the best of luck. There are exciting opportunities in a joint Stingray Scowloon under 19 side, and there'll be some information out on that later. So look forward to you continuing in a, in a Stingray's day. Okay, for the awards, uh, James and Petrus, if you don't mind popping up on the stage here. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> as uh, Charles said, it was a difficult season, but um, we got uh, two players in the Hong Kong squad. So, Lucas and Ollie, it was great to see both of you in the uh, Hong Kong squad. Um, there some good performances by Ryan and Zach particularly throughout the season. I think um, as far as best and fairest, um, we had a vote and Charles and the rest of the coaches, we looked at who, who we thought really exemplified what's really great about Stingrays and uh, the winner of the best and fairest this year is Ollie. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, James. Uh, players, player. Uh, difficult one, not least because most of you couldn't be asked to vote. But anyway, uh, after multiple emails, we actually managed to get some votes out of you. So, so thanks for that. Uh, it was pretty close, actually, in the end. But. Um, Ultimately, the, the winner is Harry.
then finally, uh, from under 16s, uh, the club player of the year. I think shouldn't be any surprises here. Um, it's Lucas. For the overall one, yeah? So, so you, you, you go through to the final round. But this is a big one. Uh, so, Lucas, let me tell you a little about Lucas if you don't know. He had a serious injury towards the end of last season. He worked really, really hard to get back to fitness over the summer, and despite not being 100%, he insisted on turning out for our first game. He played hard, but unfortunately, perhaps it was a bit early. He aggravated his injury and had to come off. This didn't stop him though. Yeah, he, he was determined to carry on, he continued to train and play for both Stingrays and Renaissance College throughout the season. And was a key, key player in both. At national level, he was selected for both the New Year's Day and the Showcase Sevens teams. And then was a member of the all conquering Hong Kong under 18s team that brought back the cup from Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Despite being a top player, Lucas is a very, very modest guy and he always has time to assist and mentor others. Yeah, Lucas! <laughs> Sadly, he'll be leaving Hong Kong this summer. Yeah, we wish him well and he would, of course, always be welcome back to the Stingrays family whenever he's in town. Thank you very much. That's it. That was the so we now have we're straight into under nineteen girls. Yeah, now under nineteen girls. Yeah, Terry and Trippy. girls halfway through the season and I knew what I was getting myself into I don't think they knew what they were getting themselves into and so day one turned up and told the girls who were they didn't know that when I coach I expect 110% always because that's the only way forward yeah. but at the same time the girls have improved and I'm very proud of them. When we started, before the first seven tournament, everyone on the team was scared of Sandy Bay. SVP! SV, sorry, SVP as, as it's called. So we had our first seven tournament, and the girls were a nervous wreck. And I told them one simple thing. You work hard, you fear no one, and you can do it. So we had our first seven tournament and we came second in that tournament. We nearly beat SVP twice. We weren't lucky to lose. So everyone worked hard. We've got some of our players missing tonight. Uh, they're on tour in Japan. Thank for Hong Kong, four of them. And we've got some players left over here to get the awards. So we get started. Best and fairest award. Now, this player truly amazed me. First thing, because she has an incredible set of hands that I've never seen before on her back or a forward. She's got better hands than our fly off and our scrum off. And I just watched her play and I was like, wow, if I had those hands, I'll be something else. On the pitch, she gives 110%. She never backs down and she carries on working. Best and fairest award, Ari.
Here you go. Thanks. Right. The next award uh, was a very difficult award for me uh, because every single player on the team has improved dramatically this season. So I had a couple of late nights thinking, who shall the award go to? But in the end, it was because of one special game, when I played in a tournament away to SWU. That player got you cannot you know. coach. Players who want to give all for their team, you cannot coach that kind of stuff. So the most improved award goes to show. Discovery Bay, I said, no, Repulse Bay. I expected to stay in bed and say, forget it. I'm under 19, I'm just missing this. But no, she turned up probably before everybody else. And that's her attitude the whole season. She's had a smile on her face. She's made manager's duty just fantastic. I love having this person on my team. I'm really sad here tonight. She's probably going to leave us next season. But anyway, this award goes definitely. <laughs> We've got an excellent little presentation from Terry who's come in very hard way through the under-19 season. They had a terrible time in 15. He's picked them up, turned them over, had a great time in 7. So we'd like to give him a little something to say thank you. <laughs>